Welcome back to Tech Force. Time to bring the beat. Put on your favorite track and turn up the volume. Let's put the Soundcore Space A40 earbuds to the test. It's bass, treble, and EQ time. Boom, boom. Here we go. Let's get into the box. The buds come inside the charging case. Here we have a USB-C to USB-A cable and four different pairs of ear tips for that perfect fit. Here is the quick start guide and the manual. The packaging is sweet and compact. The charging case has a series of three LED dots to show the charge on the case. On the back is a small button that you use to pair via Bluetooth. The USB-C charging port is for charging the case. The Soundcore Space A40 comes in white, black and navy blue. This case can also be charged wirelessly using a wireless charger, like the charging stand from 12 South we reviewed a few weeks ago. Check out the link below for that charging station. The earbuds have a very unique design, similar to the Jaybird runs, but this isn't necessarily the sort of design I like because I find this design tends to stick out of my ears a little more and not really sit very comfortably inside your ears unless they have a little fin that holds them in place. They have a shiny black look and don't actually stick out of your ears that much. Both earbuds have touch-sensitive buttons to access controls such as play, pause, and skipping a song. It gives you a whopping 50 hours of playtime, 10 hours on a single charge and 40 hours from the case. Also, they say you can get 4 hours of playtime with only 10 minutes of charge. What type of sorcery is this? Please Soundcore, share your battery technology with the world. Who knows of any device on the planet that will run for 4 hours with only 10 minutes of charging? Let me know in the comments below. I'll say it again. 4 hours hours of playback with only 10 minutes of charging. How do they feel in the ear? Well, surprisingly, they do fit very well inside your ears, even though they do not have the little fins like the Jaybird Run does. I would recommend these for sports, even though they don't sit completely snug inside your ears. They're still very comfortable, and I don't think they'll fall out during excessive exercise, like skipping, jogging, or hiking. The only thing I don't really like is that they stick out slightly, and they don't have that slick look like the AirPods or the LG Tone Free earbuds. If they were designed just a little bit more like the AirPods, I think they'd be a little bit more comfortable inside your ears. Now on to the most important part of the review, and that is how do they sound? The overall sound is very good, and they do a good job of blocking out the surrounding noise. The manufacturers claim to be able to reduce noise by, get this, 98% that's amazing for a moment think about the most annoying sound in your life and then what that life would be like if you could turn that sound down by 98 percent trains planes traffic the sound of a crying baby on a nine hour international flight these earbuds could really have an impact on your very sanity it could bring calm and peace to your very loud world so if noise cancellation is something you're looking for, you might have come to the right place. Comparing them to the AirPods, I would say they're not quite as good, but they do sound better than most earbuds around the $100 mark. They seem to be lacking just a little bit when it comes to the bass and are slightly too high pitched for my liking. But I think all this can be fixed in the app as the app has an EQ function and it's an amazing app. My go-to song for testing earbuds and headphones is the Prodigy's track Charlie off the album The Prodigy Experience. Now at around 2 minutes and 20 seconds into that track, your speakers are put through what can only be described as an all-out assault. Salt. That track has it all for me, and if I can feel and hear the bass, I know I've got a winner on my hands. Tell me in the comments below what your go-to track is when you're testing out new speakers. Before we get into our final thoughts, it's that time. Yes, the time you go and hit that 
that like and subscribe button. So please take this moment and go and hit the thumbs up. Check out the link below if you want to get your hands on a pair of the Soundcore Space A40s. In conclusion, for $100, these are very good and well-built earbuds. The design is not amazing, but they're comfortable and have a snug fit. If you feel like treating yourself, I would certainly go for these or even try out the LG Tone Free earbuds because those do sound incredible and come with an amazing feature of being self-cleaning and anything that is self-cleaning is just amazing except my cat he's self-cleaning but not amazing if you're looking for a mid-range pair of earbuds these are certainly worth checking out talking about checking out time for me to check out until next time bye bye mm, spotify the prodigy experience track charlie two minutes 20 and play oh here it comes a little bit of bass boom